Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Amy. If you're new here, thanks for watching. We've been together since high school, and after 20 years of the work and life grind, we're facing an empty nest really soon. That's the inspiration for our travel goals. Our first goal is to travel to all the major cities in the United States of America. Then we'd like to set out to travel most of the world. In today's video, we're breaking down all the foods and restaurants that we tried while we were in Washington, D.C. We worked out three categories to rank them by. The first is tourist locations. The second is fast casual dining. Yeah, and the third is all the sit-down locations that we tried. We considered three things when we were ranking them, and that was the taste, obviously, the cost, and the overall experience. If you're looking for places to eat on an upcoming trip to D.C., we hope this will help. Yeah, and if, uh, if you've tried any of these restaurants, or you know, if you've got any favorite dishes, or if you think of any restaurants that we've missed, go ahead and let us know down in the comments. There are two different dining options located in the bottom floor of the Hotel Harrington. The first one is Harriet's Family Restaurant, and the other is Harry's Pub. Our first night into town, we were, of course, exhausted, so we headed on down to Harriet's Family Restaurant to order a quick meal. We ordered some basic chicken strips and onion rings, and we were less than impressed with what we received. It was kind of swimming in a pool of oil, and kind of tasted old. It wasn't quite the taste we were looking for for our first night into town, and so we didn't really even finish it. We decided later that night to head on over to Harry's Pub to try out maybe some bar food and a few hard ciders. The ciders were fine. The atmosphere is really fun. Definitely go there for some drinks, maybe. We had some chili cheese fries. They weren't anything to write home about, and the menu was pretty limited. Next up is the Smithsonian Cafe inside the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. In addition to the cafeteria style seating, the food was already plated. Basically what that meant is when you grabbed something, you were pretty committed to it. So if you saw something further down the line and you had already grabbed something like we did, you were kind of stuck with it. This whole meal cost $42. The food was definitely nothing to write home about. Needless to say, after the first couple of swings and a miss with the tourist locations, we were a little weary when we stopped in at Lincoln's Waffle House across from uh, Ford's Theater. But we ordered the waffles and ham and eggs and home fries, and I gotta tell you, it was one of the best breakfasts we've ever had. The ham was perfectly charred and just deliciously crispy on the edges. And those waffles aren't all cakey and baking soda flavored. They really are very flavorful. It was hard to film within the location because it happens to be a favorite breakfast location for what we discovered to be a, a great number of Homeland Security officers. Nonetheless, it was one of the best meals we had and definitely the best cup of coffee the whole time we were in DC. Next on the list is Ben's Chili Bowl. We stopped here after watching a video on YouTube about DC's iconic foods. We ordered the half smoke with chili and mustard and onion. It was outrageously good. Definitely lives up to the hype. The snap of the skin at a perfect balance of tangy heat and smoked sausage just sung perfectly with the onion and mustard. Great deal for both of us. It was under 30 bucks and we both got a drink and fries. On our way into town, we noticed the food trucks lined up everywhere. We made sure to hit one of them up and we really enjoyed our chicken sandwich that we had. Eric kind of panicked when they asked him which sauce he wanted, so all we got was mayonnaise, but there were lots to choose from. Come Saturday, we actually wanted to hit up Ben's Chili Bowl again, but it was super packed, so we found ourselves just down the road at Roaming Rooster. Let me tell you, we loved our meal here. The twice-baked fries and the dipping sauce were absolutely killer. We tried two different sandwiches. They were both absolutely delicious. The buns were buttery and fluffy. Chicken had a major crunch factor, but it was not greasy or overcooked at all. We the Pizza came highly recommended to us by a friend. We ordered through the delivery app. It was delicious. The toppings were perfect. 
When we opened our mouths to take the first bite, we literally started to drool. Check them out. District Taco was so good, we actually stopped in there twice on our trip. Uh, the first time, Amy had three tacos on flour tortillas, and I had three tacos on corn tortillas. Otherwise, they were exactly the same. They were both carne asada. The meat was smoky and tender, super juicy. The habanera salsa was perfectly balanced, enough acid with the heat to make it just sing on the palate. We really loved their mission to have a low carbon footprint. The vibes inside were super authentic and comfortable, and they even gave us access to Wi-Fi. Wow! We don't have any footage of it, but we actually got carne asada burritos the second time we went. Destroyed. <laughs> All gone. We stopped at the Hard Rock DC before heading off to our John Mayer concert and we were thoroughly impressed with the vibes and the food, so much so that we forgot to take any pictures before we started to eat. Halfway through, we decided we better stop and record at least a little bit. If you get a chance, stop in there. We went back for a happy hour the next day and uh, enjoyed some onion rings that were crazy good and stacked all fancy. Um, and we must have had three or four drinks each, not gonna lie. Great place to stop. And it's within walking distance of the Hotel Harrington if you're staying down that way. We stopped into Hill Country Barbecue Market on our way to the art museum. The smells are what lured us in. We shared the two meats plate. We chose brisket and barbecue chicken. Holy smokes. The meat was tender, juicy, with the perfect amount of smoke while still preserving the flavor of the meat. The mac and cheese and barbecue beans were perfect. Mac was gooey and slightly smoked, perfect amount of salt, the beans were peppery and smoky and meaty and just delicious. We also had some drinks that were mixed perfectly. The format is a bit different. You get a menu and order your drinks, then you go tell the people what you want and walk through the lines and they put it on your plate. Really cool place. For our one big splurgy celebration dinner to celebrate our big anniversary, we headed off to Foga de Chao, which is actually right down the street from our Hotel Harrington that we stayed at. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. It was incredible. Typical fare that you would find with one thing that blew my mind. Grilled cheese chunks with honey drizzled on them. Out of this world. Really, the only word for it is... Great ambiance. If you're headed there for a celebration, check them out. All right, that's all we've got for you this time. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't checked out the rest of our Washington DC series, be sure to go and check that out. We've got the entire playlist for you. We create new videos every week, twice a week, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss one. Thanks again.